My interviewee's name is Belkis Cruz. I've known her all my life. I chose to conduct this interview with her because she is a powerful woman and she's been through a lot. She is also my pastor's wife. She was born in Havana, Cuba and came to the United States on a plane, but before she could do that, she explained how her mother had to work in some kind of agricultural camp in order to gain a visa. Well, this is known as work visas. So she first landed at Florida, but she didn't stay there for long, so she flew to New Jersey. She didn't just stay in one part of New Jersey, she pretty much went all over New Jersey. When she got to New Jersey, she first moved to Jersey City, but she was only there for a couple years until the rest of her family was able to move. And then she moved to Union City, and she liked it better because it was more of a Cuban slash Hispanic population. She also lived in Old Bridge in English Town and she now lives in Monroe. Learning another language was hard for her because the kids at school would make fun of her since she didn't know how to pronounce English words. She would instead pronounce them like she was speaking Spanish, but she never felt like she was different because she was Hispanic. Belkis is a 9-11 survivor. She witnessed major disaster that day. 9-11 impacted her in ways that made her more aware of what's going on politically. I think that Arabs and Muslim experienced 9-11 much differently than Belkis because they were highly being discriminated against even to this day. What's going on, but I think it's important for this generation to understand that they need to know what's going on. Uh, they need to understand, but they also yeah. need, this is one thing I really would advise the generation of this time is not to erase history. Just because something was done wrong in the past doesn't mean we just have to eliminate it. We need to keep it as a record to learn from it, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so I would encourage every young person to to be enlightened in the political spectrum yeah. right and to learn more about politics and and to go back to history to understand because i understood that day that wow something is happening politically and yeah. it's affecting our country and this is what this is what what took place so overall i think that oral history interviews are important because they help put things to perspective and it also helped me learn more about who my interviewee is and how certain events shaped her and how it shaped this country.